his Genie Wan Alden situation. I just wonder what more can you do to persuade Genie to sign a new deal, and how hopeful are you that a resolution can be reached in what appears to be a bit of a stalemate at the moment? I guess really nothing to say about. I think I said everything about it. Um, you know how much I like the person and the player, so there's really nothing else to say about. That's not a that's not good or bad news, that's just how it is. So if there would be a decision, you would know it. Um, and about the rest, there's nothing to say. Also, another thing that people keep talking about is the potential for bringing in the centre half in this transfer window. Can you say now categorically that you won't bring in a centre half? And if not, what steps are actively being taken to bring one in? <laughs> Uh, no, I cannot say definitely we will not bring it. It's just not likely because of the situation in the world. So we should not forget that um, the situation is a tough one for all people and for football clubs as well. There might be, and I don't know, there might be some clubs with absolutely no financial I don't, know. I don't want to make it I'll use the wrong word because then you make a big fuss of it. Um, but with, without any financial problems. And um, but we have to we, this club always was and will always be with these owners for sure, um, just very um, responsible um, with the things we do. And I so if the world would be in a normal place, let me say it like this, everything would be fine. We won the league, won the Champions League, blah, blah, blah. The club is in the best possible um, um, situation. And then you um, have three center halves, senior center halves, plus Fabinho, plus kids, three, three senior center halves all injured. Is that a situation where you usually would do something? Yes, definitely. But we are not in that situation. And so I don't know um, if something will happen or not. Um, and what I said about it, then you maybe could do something, but it uh, would be kind of a short-term solution. And we don't have that short-term solution, but that's not right um, because it doesn't help really. Um, and then we have to deal with the situation like how we did it to, so far and uh, have to get through this. So it's not the best moment for the whole planet. So why should it be for a football club? In terms then of this game, Jürgen, uh, what importance, can you sum up the importance of it in light of the defeat there earlier this season, but also in terms of putting new momentum into the season? Yeah, it's important. Um, of course, so it's FA Cup. Um, we didn't go far so far in that competition. I don't think we were blessed with sensational draws so far. Now we go to Aston Villa, uh, which is a tough one as well. But um, no, we always took it very seriously and do it this time as well. So, but we cannot forget the intensity of the period we are in and all these kind of things. So, but it's it's important. Like football games are important. We 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 are professional football players or, or coaches or manager, um, and the only thing we have to do actually is to win football games and to try to make sure that we really can do that. And that's a, a very important competition. So we will try to win that. About the momentum, yes. Um, of course, each win helps, that's clear, um, and so we try to, to do. Okay, James Mountford, if you want to go next, please. Hello, Jürgen. Good afternoon. Um, I, I wondered how do you balance the need to give some players who haven't been in the regular 11 of late some, some game time um, with, I suppose, getting consistency out of the ones that, that have been? Yes, but it's it's difficult. So the, the problem, of course, is and that's always like this. Um, in times when a lot of players are injured, which we are in, and it was even worse in, a, in the last few weeks, um, players come back, and then you try to get rid of them. But at the same time, they have, they need to get rid of them. But at the same time, um, you have to win football games and all these kind of stuff. So it's it's not that easy. So we have, we need to find the balance um, and um, to to feel the team, which is which we didn't change too much um but bringing fresh legs again the rhythm is a different issue we cannot really sort we have to sort that step by step but we cannot do that in one game and use now the FA Cup to to give players rhythm and the opponent is just too strong for that so um 
but we have um, after Aston Villa game we have uh, uh, um, I think eight days between the two games and um, between Villa and, and Man United so that's a, a long training week or longer even where we can really um, do a lot of stuff in 11 if we have we 11 situations where we really better which will help the players a lot though especially the players who were out for a while and after that we will be in a different place and can i just ask on the injury front uh, nabi kato is, is there much hope of him being back soon yes soon yes but not for the wheel again okay carl markham do you want to go next please hi again Hello. hi there's been um, a bit of debate about Trent's form after the, the game at Southampton. Um, and much was made of the fact how much possession he gave away. I'm just wondering what you thought of, of his form and, and how, how he was coping this season because he had, he had obviously a bit difficult start to the season. Yeah, that's all. I mean, we, 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 we play football in public and then if you have a, that, uh, if you made people. Um, used to the, the, the level Trent showed over the last three, four years, I don't know, since he started playing with us pretty much. That's not what I mean. A game like this that um, was an obvious, an obvious case of not his best game. Absolutely. He knows that. We know that. That's, that's clear. Um, there are explanations for, for this season, if you want, but he had good games as well. Absolutely. And um, he helped us a lot in, in different moments. But the reason is he started had directly um, was out for a while with um, with early early COVID, then um, had had an injury, but didn't help. So had no preseason really, if you want. And then after, with the quality he has and the situation we were in, he played pretty early. So all these kind of things. I think, um, yeah, he's he's now getting there. So just uh, physically, I think he's fine. Now he has to to find just his um, his top shape again, and that will happen um, rather soon then later I just generally on on the team's form the, the last two years have, have gone so well for you um is this is this the bump in the road that was never going to come at some point with say with you, the form just dropping off a little bit no, we don't we are not waiting for it and we don't we didn't we don't enjoy it or whatever but it's how you said it it's not unlikely that these kind of things happen it started with good games which we didn't win and um I mean, yeah, there are not too many really bad games, but of course we, we create a lot, we shoot a lot, we have a lot of possession, and then we we don't have the decision making. The last third was not was not that good. That's clear. Um, but uh, how is that? We weren't waiting for it, but now we 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 we, we know the last. I think we only won two of the last six. Drew three, lost one. That's not the standard we expect from ourselves, obviously. So we don't take it easy. Um, but we still see um, what we can improve, what we have to improve, and don't think not everything was was bad in the last few weeks. The, the league is too too strong, and if you struggle a little bit, then immediately the results go the other way because the, the, your opponents are fighting with all they have. And you saw that against Southampton. Southampton, I think, had so far this season only City had more possession than them. With 51, we had 75 percent. So that was. Um, we, we really were dominant, but in the end, um, we didn't get the ball over the line for different reasons, and um, that's what we what we know, what we see, and what we are working on. Okay, Neil, next, please. Hi, hey, Egan, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just want to ask about Minamino. Obviously, he made his debut in the in the FA Cup third round last year. He's been he's been at the club just over a year now. I wondered how you you, you viewed his progress and what you've made in his first year. Obviously, it's not been an easy one for him on on and off the pitch. No, it, it's of course. I don't think it's a, it's a, it was a, it was a very difficult one, but I know what you mean. And now you come in a new club, and then you everybody thinks that you will uh, directly score 20, 30, 40 goals and stuff like this. So, but he um, he is in good shape and really good shape. He, Developed, so he got used to it. He was a good player when he signed him, obviously, but he got used to the intensity, the league, training, all this stuff, and um, made big steps. Yes, and I know in the last game, I think he played as Crystal Palace when he won seven months, and then we didn't win anymore. Um, so, um, yeah, we should think about involving him, obviously. Okay, James Pierce, next, please. Hi. 
Hi. Um, Jürgen, can I just ask you about Diogo Jota? He's about um, four weeks, I think, now into his rehab. Um, is he getting on and when are you hoping to have him back? Yeah, but it's still take time. He's still behind the brace. So um, that means he's still a few weeks away from team training, obviously. So there's nothing really to say that takes time. It was no surgery needed, which is good, but it was a it was a proper injury. So, and um, it's not that a little knock or something. No, no, no. Um, and it will still take time. And no no real time frame there. And just, just in terms of Joel Matip, do you think, has he got any hope of being fit for the Manchester United game? We'll get a tie, but yes, we try. We try working on that, obviously. So, uh, how I said, until the United game, we still have, I'm not sure, nine days then. Yeah. About so we we, we try. It's in a good way, but if it will if, if it will be United or um, a few days later, uh, I don't know. After United game, we obviously play. I think every three days again, and um, so um, I think that's pretty sure the United game we will see. Okay, guys, that's all we've got time for the open section. We'll do the embargo section now. So if you're recording, can you stop? Let's go, 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 let's go